Hi friends, this is your A.N.R. sir. Today I have come up with a new lesson on direct and indirect speech. It is interrogative sentences. If the direct speech sentence is an interrogative sentence, then how to change that into indirect speech? Today we learn that. So first of all, let me tell you a few points about interrogative sentences. There are two types of interrogative sentences. One is SR no type interrogative sentence. There are two types of interrogative sentences. First one is SR no type interrogative sentence. They are called so because either you find the answer yes or no because you get the answer either yes or no so this type of sentences are called sr no type interrogative sentences these sr no type interrogative sentences have one more name also what is it it is confirmative interrogative sentence confirmative interrogative sentence are you a girl yes i am a girl that means she confirms that she is a girl she confirms that she is a girl so it is a confirmative interrogative sentence do you love english yes i love so this is a confirmative interrogative sentence because i confirm that i love english do you like sweets no i do not like sweets that means i confirm that i do not like sweets so this type of sentences are called either sr no type interrogative sentences or confirmative interrogative sentences so how to identify them this type of interrogative sentences they start with a helping verb this type of interrogative sentences starts with a helping verb understood when you find any sentence starting with a helping verb and ending with a question mark then immediately you identify that it is a confirmative interrogative sentence or sr no type interrogative sentence so now we have to follow the following rules you have to follow the following rules before you convert the direct speech sentence into indirect speech if the indirect speech sentence is an interrogative sentence what type of interrogative sentence sr no type interrogative sentence number 1 you should take if or whether as a connecting word you see in assertive sentences you took what that whereas in sr no type questions you take either if or whether any one word whether you should be very particular for the spelling w h e t h e r because the number of students make a mistake they write w e a t h e r so you should be specific more careful about the spelling w h e t h e r number 2 the direct speech sentence is an interrogative sentence you should convert that into an assertive sentence you see that is a requirement you should learn how to convert an interrogative sentence into an assertive sentence very simple what you should change the place of helping verb in interrogative sentence the helping verb will be before the subject and if you want to convert that into assertive you should replace 
that helping verb and keep after the subject and next third you should remove the question mark always remember a number of students because of uh, uh, what in hurry they forget to remove the question mark so because you converted that interrogative sentence into assertive sentence you should remove that question mark so shall we take some examples yes is your name kartik she asked see the sentence in the inverted commas is an interrogative sentence how did you identify the helping verb is is before the subject your name and at the end you have a question mark is your name kartik is your name kartik so if you want to convert that into assertive what you should do this is is to be replaced and kept after your name after your name you should keep your name is kartik it is inter- it is assertive is your name kartik interrogative your name is kartik is assertive so you should bring this she asked before in the beginning she asked you have to add if or whether you should add if or whether so any one thing you should add if or whether what is spelling w h e t h e r whether whether i have to change this capitals ah uh, whether you means that why your means related to kartik so whether his name you see the given sentence is in simple present tense so corresponding past simple past you are right so was she asked if or whether his name was kartik clear so let us take one more example did you meet your parents she asked so in this sentence also it starts with did you may say yes i met or you may say no i didn't so this is sr no type interrogative sentence did helping verb so did plus meet met that means the assertive sentence for this will be you met your parents did plus meet what met we two so you met your parents so you should bring this she asked in the beginning she asked whether here you may be a boy so he written so if this you is a girl you may write she also no problem so th- what is the tense of the reporting speech simple past so the sp- tense of the reported speech in indirect speech it will be past perfect past perfect means what had met she asked whether he had met her parents whether he had met her parents so now let us go for second type of interrogative sentences what is it wh questions because they start with wh word what which what where when who how all these are called wh words all these are called wh words because these questions start with wh word they are called wh questions in this also you find verb inversion what is the meaning of verb inversion verb comes before the subject where did you go yesterday where did you go 
you see did has come before the subject you where did you go yesterday ha ah. what is your name is has come before the subject your name so like that in wh questions also you find verb inversion and question mark these are the identification marks to identify wh questions and these wh questions have one more name also what is that informative interrogative sentences what is it informative that means when you ask this question you get some information where is your house you tell the address of your house information you give about your house what is your name you give the information of your name so this type of questions are called informative informative questions understood so now let us see the rules so for interrogative sentences you need not to add any connecting word you need not to add any connecting word understood why these wh words act as connecting words so you need not to add any connecting word number 2 this is common what you should you should convert the interrogative sentence into assertive that is common change indirect sentence into assertive that is common how do you change that you should bring the helping verb before the subject and next this is also common what you should remove the question mark so let us do some example who can answer my question teacher asked you see this sentence started with a wh word who who can answer my question this helping verb can is placed before what the subject answer understood so the teacher asked so bring that in the beginning of the sentence you no need to add any connecting word who could can is changed to could answer her question your teacher is a lady so here her is given her answer teacher asked who could answer her question second the policeman said to us if said to us is there like earlier you should write enquired us you may write enquired us the policeman enquired us enquired us where we were going because r is then no? present continuous so you should convert that tense into past continuous the policeman enquired us where we were going and you should remove that question mark generally the reporting verb is the change to ask or enquire understood so these are the rules to change an interrogative sentence in the direct speech into indirect speech so tomorrow again i come up with a new lesson till then bye bye have a nice day and thank you for watching my lesson and if you like my teaching do not forget to subscribe to my channel it is general english all for competitive examinations and have a nice time thank you